This is Alice's story, one of five real-life testimonies of young refugees fleeing their homelands, seeking refuge. This is the real-life story of a 10-year-old refugee, Ali, who, accompanied by his grandmother, flees his home country of Afghanistan to avoid the conflict caused by war. Told in Ali's own words, it documents the feelings of alienation, separation and suffering that war can place on immigrant children and their families, and the thread of hope that can help them overcome their ordeal. In the description below, you'll find all other books available in the Seeking Refuge series by Andy Glenn. You are about to hear Ali's story, created by Salvador Maldonado and Andy Glenn. My family and I lived in Afghanistan. There were mountains there and lots of dust. Most people weren't rich and they didn't have houses. Instead, they lived in tents. There was always so much fighting going on. But the war started to get worse. There were lots of helicopters in the sky and tanks started to bomb our town and cities. Sometimes I would look out of the window and see the fighting going on. It made me very scared, but also really sad. The war got so bad that my grandma decided that we should all pack our bags and go to a safer place in Europe. When we got to the airport, the officials let my grandma in, then me, but they turned my mum and dad away. They said that my parents did not have passports and that they had to go back home. My grandma and I got on the plane. We thought my mum and dad were on another plane following behind us. When we arrived in the new country, we waited for the next plane, but my parents weren't on it. My grandma and I were safe in this new country, but we didn't know what had happened to my mum and dad. We felt alone and afraid. Sometimes I dreamt it was my mum who picked me up from school and walked me home. But then I woke up and my grandma was there instead. I realised then that it was all a dream. It made me sad to think that my parents were back in Afghanistan among all the war and the fighting. I dreamt about them all the time and I cried every night. It was like the bones in my body were broken. Sometimes I felt angry, but most of the time I felt really sad. I learnt lots of new things at school, but it was really frustrating that I couldn't speak English. The only word I knew was, yes. Sometimes I got embarrassed when I didn't know the word for something. At the beginning, I sat in the corner of the playground, watching all the other kids play. Sometimes people would ask me to play with them, and soon, I had a group of friends that I played football with at school. I really loved drawing 
and everyone was amazed by my pictures. Every day I would draw a special picture to show people at school. Sometimes it would be a picture of my whole family or just my mum and dad, me or a superhero because I really like superheroes. Four and a half years passed and then one day we had a phone call. My cousin said that he'd seen my dad in the mosque praying. Then he handed the phone to my mum and dad and I talked to them for the first time in years. It made me feel so happy. My biggest wish is that my mum and dad would come to this country. It feels like it's going to happen sometime soon, but I get upset when I think about them and wish they would come right now. I can't wait for that day. Thank you for listening to Ali's story. There are many more stories out there. You'll find more information in the description below. Always be kind and thoughtful towards others. You never know what they're going through or what they've been through.